I much more prefer to give, to pay Paul, John, Mary for whatever I'm getting from them that huge big companies somewhere in America or Asia, Asia or wherever else. It's, you know, why would they do that? Not only that, you know, the food will never be as fresh, cannot be fresh if it's from miles and miles away. And, you know, I need to support our community. I need to support people which we know, not even if, not even if I know them personally or not, that doesn't matter. But this man is staying in the community. Everybody are, it's about giving and sharing and experience, sharing experience and just working together, you know, and feel good about it. I think that that's, you know, that's the part which is so important to me. So my name is Kamila Bistronowska and I'm in Waterford for the last 14, 15 years nearly. For me, it was always very important to have the best quality of product and food I could possibly give to, to our customers. So the main thing was the quality for us. The other thing was to be seasonal, because this is what I found sometimes lacking in the restaurants. And that people forget about seasons, that we eat different way in the winter time and different way in the summer time. So that was my number two kind of priority. And number three was to use as much local produce as possible because it's so many amazing producers, growers in Waterford County and not only in Waterford County but in Ireland genuinely but people who are closer to me and who I did meet over the years. And the fourth was a flavor. I love flavor, I love strong flavor so that was number four. So we, we are trying still to combine all these four things and to be sure that we give the best quality and products and flavor and something that will be interesting and inspiring for our, to our customers. And during that process, I started finding this amazing Irish produce. And it's like, for me, Ireland, it's keep giving. It's like, you know, this little treasure that you think that it's nothing really there, but when you open one door, the other one open, and the other one, and the other, and you're finding these little, like, nuggets of gold, you know, all the time, and that is amazing, you know, and you meet these people who make these types of cheese, or foraging a seaweed, or grow their own vegetables, or anything, and it's just so inspiring and so lovely to see. I have to be proud of what I do. I have to be proud that whatever I serve, this is what we do. This is good. And, you know, if you don't like it, that's okay. But we did our best. I think that's the most important part for me. We do our best and what we believe in. It's a difficult one. It's a very difficult one because, you know, we had loads of conversations over the years with the chefs about why we are buying this if that costs X amount of money. And why would we buy this for much less? But the quality is different. Actually, the funny story when my new, now for a year and a half, head chef started working for us and we got Bali bag leaves delivered to us and he called me over and he said to me, you are crazy, how can you pay that much money for leaves? And I just looked at him and I was like, just taste them and come back to me and then we're going to talk about it. And he was like, oh yeah, that's fair enough. And I'm like, you see, you can buy mass-produced growth or whatever, leaves, lettuce, you know, doesn't taste of anything, taste of water. But you can use a very good quality, especially vegetables, meat, dairy, cheese, everything. You can use it and you don't have to mess around with that as that much. And the flavor, it's there. You can be all about local food, but the local food, gives, it's one thing, it's the quality. Because it's all made in small batches, or it's produced in the small kind of, you know, it's not somewhere from Holland or, I don't know, China or wherever, it's, it's made here. So it's always kind of small. And that means that people who are growing or producing it, they put all the effort and love into it. So the quality is absolutely amazing. In Ballybeck they grow all the weird stuff, which I absolutely love, you know. When I found first, like, uh, first it was chocolate mint. Oh, chocolate mint is absolutely amazing. It's like eating, uh, all this after eight, yes. Eating after eight, straight from the plant, fantastic. 
Then they have like a chili oregano, which is weird and wonderful. They did this cross of cucumber and melon, cucumelon they were growing, so this little kind of things which tasted amazing, you know, so they can grow all these produce and it's so interesting and inspiring and fun and tasty and it's, you know, then you're trying to, oh, what's that? What we can do with this, you know? So, in the customer's point of view, they appreciate that because they know that what they eat is actually real food and it's, it's we, we look after the produce we are getting it, we respect the produce we have, we can uh, prepare dishes very easily, not very easily, but you know, in a way quite easily without messing around too much with uh, our ingredients. Because you don't need to, they speak for themselves. So that I think is the core of all of that for me, to understand that, that if you eat from small lo producers who work so hard to do it, then you are just gaining and gaining and gaining, you know, flavor, taste, experience, stories. And then in the same time, what is the main important thing for me, you support local communities.